Hey guys, we're back at it again. This time we're doing a pineapple upside down cake. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is make our batter. I've got some softened unsalted butter here, some softened cream cheese, some granulated sugar. And what's cool about the cream cheese is that it's going to work as kind of a natural leavener. It's going to make the cake a little bit lighter and more fluffy and also add a nice flavor to it. Anyway, I got this in the stand mixer. You can use an electric mixer if you'd like. And I'm just gonna whip this up. And then after it's all blended, add an egg and some vanilla. And I'm just gonna continue mixing this until you get almost a pudding-like consistency. And now we're gonna add some all-purpose flour. And if the beginning stages of this recipe look a little familiar, it's kind of like my coffee cake recipe. I also added some baking powder, cornstarch, salt, and pineapple juice. Now it's time to take this off the stand mixer and mix it by hand. I've got my handy dandy rubber spatula here, and I'm just going to use it to scrape down the sides of the bowl. After that, I'm gonna to switch to a whisk until I get a nice smooth batter. And when you get to the point where there's really no chunks of flour in there, you're good to go. I'm just going to inspect this one more time with my rubber spatula, and then that's it for your batter. And now it's time to get started on the topping for the cake. Now I'm going to take some melted butter, some light brown sugar, some water, and some vanilla extract, and I'm just going to whisk this up until I get kind of a glaze. It's going to be a little on the runny side, but it's supposed to. I'm going to take a greased 9-inch baking pan, and I'm going to pour in my glaze. Make sure you spread it evenly around the pan. You don't want more glaze in one area than the other, otherwise you're going to get kind of a runny mess. And now it's time to add the pineapples. I'm just going to put in whole slices of pineapple in here. And if you still have a little bit of room left in your pan like I did, go ahead and take some slices of pineapple and fill those little empty spots. But also, I'm gonna leave room for banishino cherries. And this part is completely optional. I know not everybody likes this, but I personally really like it. And I think it really adds great flavor to the cake. And now it's time to pour in our batter. I'm just going to pour all of it in here and spread it out. And it is a little bit of a thick batter. You definitely want that for a cake like this. If you're making a pineapple upside down cake, you definitely don't want a runny batter. Anyway, this is going to go in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 40 to 45 minutes. And it should look like this in the end. After cooling for 15 to 20 minutes, I'm going to put this on a plate. And this is the part that kind of made me nervous. Because after I flipped it, it kind of made a little bit of a mess. I don't know if you can really see that on camera, but some of the juices went everywhere. But it's okay, that's supposed to happen. Anyway, I had to clean up my mess, and we're going to ignore that and focus on this good-looking cake here. I swear if you slice into that thing right now, I will end you. I'm actually taking this cake to a party, so I'm not going to be able to slice into it and show it to you. But I can tell you that this cake was absolutely delicious. Everybody really enjoyed it. And it was probably one of the best pineapple upside down cakes I've ever had. It had a great flavor thanks to the cream cheese, and it wasn't too dense, and it wasn't like super light. It was just the perfect texture, and it had everything that I could possibly want out of a pineapple upside down cake. The juice from the menachino cherries actually blended in there and gave it such a wonderful flavor. And you definitely need that glaze on top to give it that nice shine and that extra sweetness. So definitely try this one out. You will not be disappointed. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed this one. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.